Hey guys, um, Dr. David Lynn, board certified laser dermatologist. Hey, um, you've seen a lot of my videos on acne scarring and cosmetic revision of um, scars and birthmarks and um, lots of good stuff uh, and interesting things. But look, um, the bread and butter of my training um, as a dermatologist is that of skin checks. Now, I've, I've given that up about or four or five years ago as regular skin checks, but I still do skin checks for the military or ex-military personnel because I'm ex-military myself. So um, these patients usually have an extraordinary amount of sun damage, and you'll see shortly what I mean by um, sun damage and skin cancers because... Um, when you work in the Air Force, Army or Navy, there are often restrictions on what you can wear or you can't wear, especially in the 50s, 60s and 70s. And as a result, you can see the immense amount of um, damage of what UV radiation can do. Um, typically, my patients will have at least at any given time a dozen skin cancers or would have had a couple of hundred skin cancers cut out. So um, watch this video, he's a really cool guy. I've been looking after him for the last 10 years uh, and you can see the amount of sun damage he has and why it's important um, to wear sunscreen and do your best to wear hats and really take care of your skin. And if you're at high risk, um, see a board certified dermatologist who does regular skin checks. So thanks for that guys. Um, hey guys, this is my mate Barry. How are you Barry? Well, thanks for yourself. <laughs> good, good. You can see very shortly how many skin cancers he's had. Um, and um, I'll take you through a skin check, what to look for, um, and stay safe that way. So just as an idea, Barry's had at least 300, 400, yeah, about probably about 400 skin cancers. Your ex-military used to be in the Air Force, right, from what I remember? Yep. Yep. And with the, being in the Air Force is something called FOD, Foreign Object Debris, is that right, FODs? Foreign Object Damage. Yeah, yeah Foreign Object Damage. In other words, they kind of wear hats. Um, you couldn't wear sunglasses last time. Um, and the only thing you can have with the earmuffs, and that's it. Yeah. So as a result, he's on the tarmac, um, you know, with the UV exposure, which is ridiculous, much like California. Just imagine that, no hats, no sunscreens, because you were working on the tarmac at that stage in the 60s and 70s, yeah. um, on F-111's long-retired aircraft. But, um, you know, it's amazing the amount of sun damage he has, and as a result, the consequence of UV damage. So he's a classic example of, um, really bad skin cancers and sun damage. And I'll show you um, the amount of um, skin cancers he's had and he has at this moment. Okay, so quick check over here. You can see he's got a graft over here that's formed a melanoma, I presume. Is that a melanoma or an SCC? SCC. It's a squamous cell carcinoma that was probably a couple of decades ago. He's had numerous operations over here. He's had at least, uh, I've operated you on you uh, quite a fair few times in the past. Uh, he's had a graft to his nose over here. He's got sun damage everywhere, solar keratosis all the way around here, anything which is rough, red, and scaly. Either pre malignant, so they're called solar keratosis or actinic keratosis in the US. Uh, he's got a couple of IECs, which are precancerous. He's had scars over here, on the forehead over here, um, nasal reconstruction over here, uh, down to his ALR down there. So he's had uh, carcinomas up on, on his lip over here. Um, lots and lots of scars everywhere, secondary to BCCs and squamous cell carcinomas. Um, you can see part of this here is missing, um, and that's secondary to skin cancer as well, skin cancer excisions. Uh, this is where we normally take our grafts from, um, which is a part of the front part of the ear. Moving down to his body, uh, we can see he's got lots of sun damage all over his chest. These areas are precancerous as well. Uh, anything which is rough, red, and scaly that doesn't go away in six weeks is considered as precancerous until proven otherwise. Numerous scars everywhere from skin cancer there. Cryotherapy here, uh, that's done by a plastic surgeon, so that's, do we call it the Zorro mark or Z, that's a little flap there for a skin cancer there. Um, moving down his arms, you can see an immense amount of sun damage starting all the way from his fingers all of this is precancer, 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 precancer. Surgical scars over here. All of these are precancerous lesions. Um, looking at his back, we're going to his back now. And we can see he's got lots of spots and dots. But this is where you should see a board certified dermatologist because even though he has lesions like this, which may look um, nasty, they're not. These are actually age warts or age barnacles. Um, so these are called sebkeratoses. 
uh, barnacles in the ship of life, so they're indeed actually benign, so they're not dangerous at all. The dangerous ones are the ones you usually can't see, so that's, that's why it's very important if you get a lot of sun exposure to see a dermatologist. You can see he's got scars there from skin cancers. So even though his back looks kind of, you know, like, wow, you know, out there, it's actually quite good because um, his back is actually um, uh, age barnacles and age warts. So then if we move down to his legs, we can see what's happened to his legs. So look at the amount of sun damage. This is from a graph, so that's called a split thickness graph, and that's from another graph. So you can see the graph sites. All of these areas here are precancerous. So he's got precancerous areas all the way here, all the way down here, and you can see all the way down. It's because he wore, you wore shorts, didn't you, mate? Yeah, shorts and t-shirt. Short, yeah, so in the, in, in the RAF, in the Air Force, um, attire was shorts and um, t-shirts or even a singlet. Oh, a lot of black singlets, yeah. Yeah, so you can see um, the amount of sun damage stops around here. Um, his feet are kind of okay. You can see that sharp cut off. So you can see the amount of sun damage due to the UV. And all of these areas here, once again, like I said, they're all precancerous. And he's had excisions over here on his, on his calf as well, and excisions over there with a flap repair over there with a Zorro flap repair, Z flap repair. So um, yeah, this is my typical military or ex-military skin check. So guys, um, you know, it's really important to get your skin checked. Okay, one of the ways we can treat um, cellular keratosis is something called cryotherapy, which is this. So basically we're just freezing off tiny spots in the scheme of things. In the scheme of things, what I'm doing with this to treat this amount of sun damage, um, it's not going to work, guys. So um, that's when we use other treatments like photodynamic therapy or creams such as 5-fluorouracil or Effudex. So in the US, you have a, a um, treatment called Luvan. In Australia, we use something called PDT or photodynamic therapy. Basically, we use a red light to activate a chemical which kills the precancerous cells. And Barry's had much of that in the past. Mate, hey, uh, Barry, thanks very much for letting me film you, mate. All right. And um, any tips for the guys out there who are um, still sunbaking? That's it. Sunscreen, yeah? And Good on you, mate. Thanks, and, mate. And lots of it. Lots of it. That's it. That's the best tip. Thanks, mate. Okay, so um, that's it, guys. Um, you can see uh, Barry's got it spot on. Use slip, slop, slap. That was the old slogan in, um, uh, in Australia um, in the 80s. Yeah, slip, slop, slap. Uh, slip on the t-shirt, uh, slop on some sunscreen, and slap on your hat. Something like that. But anyway, slip, slop, slap is what we uh, used to call in the 80s for sun protection. Um, and it is really important. Uh, make sure if you're at high risk, uh, get your skin checked because what you can see, what looks nasty on his back is actually fine and what doesn't look nasty in is actually precancers or cancers. So um, yeah, uh, get your skin checked by a board certified dermatologist, um, especially if you're at high risk. And remember, if something that comes up uh, and stays for longer than six weeks, um, look, and doesn't go away, make sure you get it checked because it could be a skin cancer. Hey guys, thanks very much for watching this video and I'll see you again next Saturday. Bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for your support. Um, I can't do this channel without um, all you subscribers and seriously, um, 52,000 subscribers in the last nine months, um, I'm really stoked. So I would love you to subscribe so I can do more videos. Um, I'm also on Instagram, so um, I post a couple of videos every week. So for anything up and coming and um, exciting, um, you can find me on Instagram. So hope to see you soon. Bye.